Hey guys, Grim here with a long-promised episode of Tarot Talks. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Crow Tarot by M.J. Cullinan. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. So, this is the front of the box and the back. As with almost every tarot deck you will ever find, uh, it comes with a little instruction booklet. Um, you know, this one is pretty straightforward. There's no illustrations or pictures of the different cards. This is the back of the cards. They're very nondescript. Uh, the front. Um, so, as previously, I'm going to flip the camera so it's pointing down at the desk. Um, this is the first time that I'm using the new phone holder um, tripod to do this video. Um, so, here's hoping that it works really well. Alright, so gonna do is just like that and then I'm just gonna check okay there we go eventually I will have this down to an art but for right now this will work all right so as always uh, I shuffle my decks like an absolute heathen um, And we're just gonna... The one thing I don't like about a lot of tarot decks is that they are not um, very convenient size for shuffling. Um, they're very long. And when you have small hands, like I do, um, that does not translate to an easy shuffle. That is incredibly difficult to shuffle. So, and as before, this is just kind of like an intro to the deck kind of shuffle. Um, other, other copies of this deck might have a different personality, but this is just what I like to do when I have a new deck, or when I am explaining an old deck. So then I'm just going to take and do a random kind of three card draw. We have the Hermit, the Strength, and the Hierophant. Just want to make sure I've got all of these in frame. Alright. So, the Hermit, number nine. Key words, according to the book, are meditation, time alone, enlightenment, and wisdom. And it's associated with the element of earth. A solitary hermit crow, aged and wise, is perched upon a sacred tree in, a quiet in quiet contemplation deep in the woods. He listens to what the tree needs to say as the falling snow lands on the smallest of branches. It is the tree that has provided the crow knowledge and is a symbol of the subconscious mind. After his time of quiet reflection, he is ready to pass his knowledge to those who are willing and prepared to travel into the thickest part of the woods. In his mouth, he holds a lantern, a symbol of wisdom to light the way. The soft, bright, glistening snowflakes represent cleansing and moving in a spiritual direction that will lead to fulfillment on one's journey. The reversed hermit suggests that you have retreated not for self-discovery, but instead to escape day-to-day -day challenges. Spending too much time alone may lead you to feel isolated or self-absorbed. And then we have strength. Key words. Inner strength. Passion. Virility. Confidence. The element is fire. It is not through brute force that this crow has achieved the challenging goal of taming the wild beast. 
It is because she has mastered her ability to connect with a higher frequency, channeling trust and respect. The positive energy she radiates enables the crow to balance confidently on the lion's nose, not in conquest, but out of mutual respect. The crow has learned to remove her ego, quieting the hum of fear, allowing her to hear the inner guidance of her highest, higher conscious. It is from this place she wields the true power of strength. The strength card suggests that you will have an experience that requires you to summon the power that comes only from exercising inner peace and freeing yourself from the influence of ego and fear. When reversed, strength may be warning that you are not in control of your emotions and that your motives are fear or ego-based. And then we have the Hierophant. Key words. Education. Tradition. Religious institutions. Higher learning. Element Earth. The Hierophant Crow is pragmatic and does not take unnecessary risks. This crow appears at a time when a conventional approach is needed to resolve a situation or help further a project. This card brings a warning that now is not the time to think outside the box. Instead, seek knowledge from a well-regarded institution or person. The Hierophant's role is to stand before others as a, metaf as a mentor and spiritual teacher. He is deeply connected with the divine and could represent guidance that comes from connecting with our higher self through a professional healer. When reversed... It may imply the need to be less restrictive in your thought process and creative thinking. Now, as stated last time, careful, careful, careful. There we go. Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. Um, as stated in the last Tarot Talk video, um, that's just sort of a personality reading for the deck and honestly that's pretty spot on every time I use this deck it's very practical it's a very pragmatic and no-nonsense kind of tarot deck um, you know I have most of my decks tend to be very sarcastic I joke that I attract asshole tarot decks um, but this particular deck, um, not an asshole, not a jerk. This particular deck is very on the nose. Um, it's going to be short, sweet, to the point. It's not going to hold your hand, but it's not going to be mean about it. It's just going to tell you this is what is going on this is what you need to do go do um, which I appreciate um, as we go on you'll notice that I tend to favor um, decks with crows or Halloween type themes it's just what I personally am drawn to um, and crows in particular are associated with the Morrigan who I do work with so, it's, it's fitting. And I feel like this is a very, I feel like this is a good deck if you just want sort of a, the blunt friend. The friend who isn't mean or catty, but also isn't gonna be like, well, I, 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 or it, it's not that it's bad, you know, it, it's very much going to be like, look, this sucks. This is how you fix it. It's up to you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think I was actually supposed to do the tattoo tarot next. Um, I keep putting it off. The cards for the tattoo tarot. Uh are kind of flimsy. So, and that's another thing, I guess, to think about. Um, as I mentioned, the cards for the Crow Tarot deck are, like most tarot cards, a shit size if you shuffle them. If you are anything like me and you shuffle your cards, they suck. Like, look at this. This is... 
my whole hand. This card is almost as big as my hand. Like, putting it at the base of my palm. You know? Um, the material's good. I think they're a little stiff. Um, but... I, I'd probably give this deck in terms of artwork and ease of use like a 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite favorite deck. It's not my least favorite deck. But yeah. So I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to do that tech deck next. It might not be next. So I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be next. Um, but hopefully I'll get another episode done this week and can post uh, more regularly. But till then, sweet nightmares. <laughs>